In today's video, we're going to be changing the default title screen to something super epic, and we start right now. And if you love RPG Maker tips, tricks, tutorials, and just general discussion about RPG Maker, then scroll down and hit subscribe and the bell icon so you get notified whenever I upload a new video. This project here is getting a little too convoluted, so we're just going to open up a new one. Project L, Makers and Breakers. Now to start off, we are going to need some plugins. You want to head over to atelierrgss.wordpress.com so you can get the Mog Hunter plugins for RPG Maker MZ. We're just going to download the master demo. After you've got the master demo, what you want to do is open up this file, go over to JavaScript, go into plugins, and the ones we're going to be copying are these three, title commands, title layers, and title particles. I'm just going to hit Control C. I'm going to head back over to our game folder, again in JavaScript, in plugins, we're just going to hit Control V. Next thing you want to do is in the master demo, you'll go into Images and Titles 1 to find these files. You're just going to copy them and drag them over into your game files, Images, Titles 1. Then you're going to go into Titles 2 and do the same in your folder. Then you're going to copy all of these for Titles 2 and copy and paste them in your Titles 2. And just lastly, we're going to go into our Plugins folder up here and just make sure we have all of these plugins turned on. After we've got all the plugins turned on, we're just going to load up the game and make sure we haven't up. Yeah, this looks cool and all, but let's spice it up with our own unique taste. So let's jump over to Photoshop, and all I'm doing here is I'm just creating a small Final Fantasy-esque type logo for our front screen. After I've finished that, I'm just going to export it. The image I'm going to export into Titles 1, and I'm just going to save it as Image 1. And I'm going to save the title uh, just by itself on a separate layer. By the way guys, if you want me to do a video tutorial on how to make this Final Fantasy looking logo, then leave a comment down below saying yes please. Now to get these showing in game, first thing we're going to do is load up our plugin commands and then go on to title layers. Right here under title text, we're just going to hit title text file name. Then here we're going to load up our title. Then right under layer 1, we're just going to double click where it says L1 file name. We're going to load up the image. Now this image is going to have a zero axis scroll for X and a zero axis scroll for Y. And the last thing we're going to do is jump over into the systems tab, system 1, and get rid of this draw game title. Uncheck that. Images, ruins, we're just going to select none. Back over in the layer titles, what we're just going to do is we're going to turn off every layer except the first layer. So, first layer is going to be visible true, every other layer is going to be false. Hit apply and then test it out. There we go, so now we have our image as well as our title with some particle effects running across the screen. But let's make this even better by putting all these commands down in the bottom right hand corner. To do that, we're going to load up the plugin manager and open title commands. Now, right here where it says command position 1, 2, and 3, we're just going to change these. So, command position 1, that's changing the new game, that's changing the continue, and that's changing the exit. So, over here, we're just going to type in some new pixel locations, and that's going to be 650, 440. The next one is going to be 650, 500. And the next one is going to be 650, 550. Now let's load that up and see how it looks. There you go, as you can see we've got our new game continue and options over here on the right hand side. Hold on a second, this video is only 4 minutes long so far. That means we still have time for some quick self-promotion. I have a Patreon account, and pledging to my Patreon gives you access to all the exclusives that aren't shown here on YouTube. For example, a level 1 patron gets a personalised thank you message from me, as well as access to behind the scenes content that is delivered directly onto my Patreon page. Level 2 gets access to all of the assets that I create, usually for sale on my itch.io page, but on Patreon, just the monthly subscription gets you access to all of it. Uh, level three, not only do you get exclusive early access to the videos that I create, each week you get to vote on a poll for which video you'd like me to create next. There are of course higher tiers for those who are that way inclined, but come over and support me on my Patreon so I can keep making the content that you all love and enjoy. And if this is your first time on my channel and you are getting major value out of my videos, then I'd really appreciate it if you scroll down and smash subscribe. I've got videos popping up to the left. I will see you in the next video.